Hey, what is up guys and good morning. It's like five in the morning here. It's getting pretty cold. It's around five degrees outside. So let's get started. I have a big announcement to make and uh, I really want your comments down below on this because it's a pretty big project that is going to be very useful for a lot of people and um, really good. So let's get started. So I was planning on creating my own flight controller and then as I was doing and thinking about that, I decided to make it as an open hardware flight controller with a lot of documentation and a lot of videos on how to make your own custom flight controller. So you might say, okay, well, how do I do that? Well, the plan is here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the base skeleton of an F4 and an F7 flight controller with MPU 6000 gyros and ICM gyros and dual gyros. But let's just start with one basic one so I can give you an idea of what is to be expected and why it's a really interesting topic here. Now, I will do the base flight controller schematic and the PCB design. And the base will be an MPU 6000, F4, 5 volt regulator, and a 3.3 volt regulator. Now, what I will show you is through one of the softwares, which is going to possibly be easy EDA. It's going to be really easy. You just click my link and then you get the schematic. And then with one button, you convert it into a PCB. Now, once you do that, it turns into a puzzle, which where you place the things. And what I am planning on doing is creating a super detailed playlist tutorial of how to build your own PCB design for the flight controller because I've already done all the hard part. Now, let's just say uh, you know what you're doing and you wanted a 9 volt regulator, dual gyros, SD card, inbuilt GPS and you're not limited by size. Now, this could be good for RC airplanes or something else that you're using and you can easily do that. Now this hardware will be compatible with both INAV and Betaflight, which is something really, really big. And I'll also have the firmware for my specific flight controller in there. And it's very simple. And I'll also show you how to make a, I'll also make a video of how to modify the Betaflight source code to work with your own design, which is really easy, but you can just follow, if you don't know, just my base template, and then you can design it as the way you please. Now, for example, how easy is this going to be? Well, I want to make this as easy as possible, even for the person that doesn't know anything. So the hard part is basically done. Once you convert the schematic into a PCB, you just click one button. And then it brings everything to a new page and it gives you the PCB board and it gives you all the components. And then all you got to do is just start placing it and then running the wires. It's really that simple. And um, what I will do is I'll do it step by step. For example, first I will show you how to set up the size of the PCB. Okay, and we make it a 30 by 30 PCB and put the mounting holes. I'll show you how to do that. Also a 20 by 20 PCB. So you can make your own flight control 20 by 20 and also one that is unrestricted in size. So you can get a better idea of how it's going and why things should be placed here and there. Now, this will be the type of tutorials that I'll be making in short episodes, but in a very long playlist that is very detailed. So if you're looking for that one little thing, you don't have to watch five hours to find that one thing. And, um, yeah, I hate doing that. I hate looking for watching something for so long just because I wanted that little tiny piece of information. And that is the idea that I'm trying to get done here. So I will be building the base uh, schematic and the base PCB design, and then you can design your own, which is really nice. Now, not only that, uh, there's going to be people out there, the whole idea here, there's going to be people also out there that know what the hell they're doing. So they can do some crazy things. Things you can't even imagine of and I can't even imagine of or even do, you know, they can have an inbuilt bunch of sensors, Bluetooth, GPS, um, all these kinds of things. If they're not restricted by size, maybe someone has a really, really light wing and they wanted a little tiny flight controller just with four outputs and a, and a receiver input and the regulator is being you know, handled through the ESC or something. So he'll make a super tiny board that will be just doing exactly what you want and it'll be running INAV to the full extent, which is really nice. So this is the type of things that this project is what I'm hoping for is going to evolve in. Now, let's talk about the contributors. Now, the contributors, what I'm currently working for is I'm talking with JLCB, PCBWay and Seed Studio. And what I'm trying to do is find the best platform to have us have kind of like VIP treatment. Uh, the contributors will have some, you know, if someone, if someone likes your work and you're a contributor, even if you didn't know much and you just made one just a specific size for a specific Zold Nano Talon or, or whatever, someone out there might really want that and will buy that. And once they buy that, you get a small reward, you cash reward, basically for your hard work. 
which will increase the amount of creativity and and innovation and also uh, contributions because it's a win-win situation for everybody. The guy who wanted that piece that you made got whatever he wanted and what he desired. And uh, you, for your hard work, you got something because he bought it. And not only that, the, the, the feeling that you get from someone purchasing your own product is amazing, you know, and especially if they love it, you know, like, oh my God, I've been looking at this all my life and now you've created it. You see what I mean? So this is something that I'm trying to aim for. And now I will also, if you don't know nothing about electronics, I, this is my goal is to introduce it in electronics because electronics will change the way you look at life and your perspective and it'll give you a whole new perspective on everything. I can't explain that feeling, but you, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Some people might be able to explain it in words. I can't, it's, it's a gorgeous feeling. So that's one thing that I'm planning on doing with this project. Now you might say, okay, well, oh. So it will be a very detailed playlist, project, tutorials, everything to show you how to set everything up from zero. And later on, once you gain knowledge, you'll start adding your own things if you don't know what you're doing, which is something that I'm really aiming to do here in Build GPS. All that will be in my tutorials step by step. However, what I am looking for is support from you guys so I can kind of shy away from reviews and just really dedicate myself to this project because I really want to make this project big. Now, let me explain a couple of things also what I'm planning on doing. There's going to be a base template for an F4 with an MPU 6000 gyro, 5 volt, 3 volt regulator. There's going to be another one for an ICM gyro, an F7, and a, you know an F7 and MPU 6000 gyro. So you can choose whatever flavor you want to start off with. I will do my best to create all of the base basic templates, and um, you go ahead and design your PCB accordingly to whatever the hell you want and do whatever the heck you want. And to anyone that purchased it, I don't get anything from it, and I don't have a problem with not getting anything from it you get from it because you created that PCB that the person wanted in the exact size with the exact features, whatever. For example, maybe you wanted a soft mounted gyro. All you have to do is make the pin out for the connector and go buy an airbot, you know, the soft mounting gyros, make the holes for it so you can screw in that plastic piece and just add its wire in that little connector. You're good to go. It's going to be a really, really crazy project. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to see people's creativity, innovation, and ideas. I can't even imagine what are the things we're going to see. We might see some crazy, crazy things, you know. And uh, you can also even request things. Like people will start taking requests and building something to someone's specific needs for some kind of specific flight controller or drone or RC plane or whatever. So it's going to be a really nice evolving project, which... I really can't wait to see how it evolves and I really can't wait to try other people's stuff. And uh, I think that is one very interesting topic. And again, this is completely compatible with iNav and Betaflight, no matter what version. So it's going to be really interesting and really cool. So um, what do I get for this? Actually, I get nothing unless you ordered my basic PCB, which I don't think you should actually. I think you should order the, the full fledged ones. I might make a couple full fledged ones that I really like to my flavor. And then, you know, other people also. There isn't really much, um, what is it called? There isn't really, I'm not really gaining much from this, like nothing at all, basically. And um, I really want to do this more for the community. And I really want to see how it will evolve and what are the things we're going to see because I think that is the most interesting part for me. And, um, that's the reason why I finally, you know, made up my mind to do it this way. And um, I really wanted, you know, your guys' uh, feedback. Your comments are really important down below because those will also help me get the companies on board to create us some kind of a special VIP access to get them assembled, designed, uh, better rewards for the contributors because it's going to be a really big project and I really want the contributors also to have some sort of reward, a really decent reward so it can keep innovation going and um, make a win-win situation for everybody. That's the whole idea here. And um, now for me to get started on this, I'm being drop dead honest. I need all the support I can possibly get because I really want to push away from reviews for a while. I will still be doing some reviews, but I really want to dedicate fully to this project because I have such, I can't explain it. I have really high hopes and really, I just want to see what the community is able to do because I know there's some crazy people out there that are going to do some crazy things that we've never even thought about 
which will push the industry and push innovation and even help people uh, get some sort of reward for their contributions. And um, I really want it to be mainstream since we already have the open source software. Why don't we have also some open source hardware, you know? Um, so that's the idea here. You know, you could take my design, do it and sell it. Don't care. Um, it's open hardware. You know, uh, I'm going to make it fully dedicated open hardware so you do whatever the hell you want, you know. Uh, maybe some company liked your design. They said, hey, we would like to sell your design. You say, okay, give me a royalty. I don't know. What the hell, it's up to you. It's your design. It's not my design. So that's the idea here. Uh, that's what I want to push for. And uh, I want to see the kind of innovation what other people are going to be doing. It's going to be pretty crazy, you know. Especially when now you, you know, because everything is basically standard size. You know, 30 by 30, 20 by 20. And something else, I think 15 by 15 or something. But now when you're not limited also, you can do some crazy things. Maybe you wanted a 40 by 40. You made your own frame and you wanted a 40 by 40 and add a trillion filtration capacitors on there. I don't know what the hell you want to do, but you can do that. So it's going to be a really interesting place. And I'm really going to set up the forum also, my forum, a specific you know place for that where people can contribute, have issues or, you know, just just communicate and uh, just set up some kind of a nice channel for people to do requests for people to to share their products to to explain their products to whatever you know I really want to make this as a huge community driven project with no leader where it's just self-sufficient and it's just growing but I want to make sure that everyone's well taken care of throughout the whole process and make it as simple as possible now like I mentioned, I will be showing you how to, you know, basically convert it into a PCB and, and set it up. It's it's going to be really simple. Like I'll do the base schematic and then with one button you click, you, it'll change it to a PCB and it'll bring you all the components that you need and you just start placing them wherever you want and you route the wires. And I will show you that in a step by step manner, even if you don't know anything, as long as you know how to work on a puzzle, that, that's all it is. It's going just to be a puzzle. And later on, once you gain enough knowledge and you start reading a little bit more, it'll it'll open up your interest more it'll it, you know you'll start getting these ideas and start understanding a little bit more you're going to want to learn okay what does the symbol mean there isn't many symbols it's going to be really easy for you to learn this stuff and then uh it's, it's just going to be it's it's really awesome i i my main goal here there's two actually one is to see the innovation and creativity and other people's stuff that's one two is to get at least two people into hardware design basically even though you use my schematic you know um basically every single flight controller has the same schematic it's just the extra features that it adds or the different type of regulators that it's adding but it's all the same thing the f4 flight controllers uh, microcontroller units and the f7 microcontroller units have a specific schematic which have to be set up in order to work and then you can add based upon that and that is what every single flight controller is you see what i mean so if I do the base template and then you build upon the base template, it's going to be awesome. So I'll try to do a base MPU, a base ICM, and a base dual ICM MPU gyro, which I think is going to be really interesting. Now, and again, I need all the support I can possibly get to continue with this project. Uh, there's many ways you can support the channel if you're interested in this. And it would be really great if you guys can support this mission because I think this will just change the whole community for us actually it'll change a lot of things it'll bring a lot of interesting cool things in this uh thing and also a lot of people will benefit you know um and i think it's it's a really nice idea i do think that and let me know if you think it's a stupid idea or if it's a smart idea let me know down in the comment section and um so yeah like i was saying i need all the support i possibly get to dedicate myself to this project for a while I will still be doing reviews, ESC testing and stuff. I mean, that's that's the whole idea here. But um, yeah, any support goes an absolute long way. I do have a Patreon and I do also have the links down below. You can click before you make a purchase. It doesn't have to be the same product. Those greatly support the channel also. Uh, anything can go a really long way because at the end of the result, after the end, end of the project, I don't gain anything basically. And that's the whole idea. The whole idea is for the community and how the community just evolve it that's it so i don't want to make my own i said you know what i'll make it open source and then i'll make my own flavor through that so if someone liked it they can do that so you can buy them as kits you can buy them as assembled service or you can buy the pcb and build it your own it's up to you at the end and um you know it's it, this is why i'm also wanting your comments and your support down below so i can have the specific company 
open a specific section or a VIP section for these projects, these flight controller projects. For example, the contributors, um, the people who are buying from the contributors, maybe a lower assembled quantity, a, a kit based also. You can get it with all the components and you assemble it at home. It's going to be really nice. It's uh, th This is the whole idea. And if you guys are interested, please let me know in the comment section because if it does not get much interest, then I think it's pointless maybe but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section i really want to push this through i really want to see this go through and i really want to see people's innovation and creativity because i think it'll just be amazing i really do and again this will work both betaflight and inav so and i'll show you how to do the firmware for it i'll have a specific firmware for my flavors or my base templates so it'll be a very noob friendly or beginner friendly, like absolute beginner friendly like i'm gonna treat everybody like i'm just gonna spoon feed you in small steps to show you how everything is set up you know um and as we go you'll learn a lot a lot uh, more than you think you'll actually learn and it's going to be really interesting and i want to make it easy to digest in small episodes but very detailed and very summarized without without a lot of blib blabbering just okay why do you need this here and why is this needed here and um, you know, for the microcontroller unit, it needs a couple capacitors here, it needs a resistor here to stay low. So when it resets, it just you know it gives it ground here on this pin, and it resets. And um, if you might think it's complicated, but it's actually not. So, and then I'll show you how to do how many pinouts you want. Maybe you don't want so many pinouts, so it'll be make the board easier. We can make simple boards, very advanced boards. We'll start with very basic, simple stuff, which you can modify to your own needs, which is really awesome. And um, something that I looked for, but there's nobody doing it. Nobody. And uh, I said, okay, well, maybe I can do it. And again, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And any support can go a really long way in this project. And I really want to see this go through because, you know, when, when, when you open something to the community and the community starts contributing, you're just going to see a lot of crazy cool things. A lot. And, well, that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will probably see you in a couple hours with some sort of ESC review. Maybe the T-Motor F55 amp. I built one, but I haven't tested it on the bench. I've tested it in real world, but we'll get into that in a later video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. It's very important. And please share this video uh, and uh, get as much you know, traction as we can possibly to, to, to get this project going. And um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.